Good morning, guys. It's Chris from DAXtrader.co.uk. It's Wednesday, 20th of September, 2017. We're going to look at DAX technical analysis for today. Um, we've just completed the webinar this morning. And again, if you want to get involved in that, then you'll need to join the Telegram broadcast channel. And the description for that is in the link below. And uh, the broadcast channel is free. So come join us on there. If you're interested and want to know more, you can sign up on the website for a free account to access the articles. Just simply click on register. Um, if you like what we're doing here, then please do share on social media, on Twitter and Facebook and all that sort of stuff as well. That would be great. If you're interested in joining as a premium member, then you can do so as well by clicking on the register button. All right. So before we get started, just to explain the trading disclaimer. Trading financial markets is risky, involving the risk of losing our invested money. Uh, these webinars and videos are provided for educational purposes only. No investment advice is provided. If you decide to enter a trade on the back of any of the webinars or videos, then please do so entirely at your own risk. All right, so just quickly before we get started uh, on the ed, uh, economic calendar today, we have FOMC later on uh, this evening. You need to be aware of that. Um, I'm not providing advice, but I would strongly recommend that you don't trade that. Um, if you're going to get your trading in, do it before the afternoon and evening session because liquidity is going to dry up and it'll be very, very tricky. So you've got that later on, um, and then we've got to try and speculate as to whether or not there is going to be a hike. So that's going to be interesting. Got the German elections coming up as well, so that's going to provide a little bit of volatility uh, near the end of the week. Um, but this morning, let's just jump straight into the charts here. This morning, uh, we had a discussion. I was explaining this particular chart uh, about that we're building up a bit of pressure at the moment. We've got this kind of growing buy zone, if you like, this this kind of trending uh, buying area where that's where buyers are sitting and sellers are sitting somewhere in the 570 to 600 zone. And we have been threatening to burst through that level and building pressure on where those sellers are sitting. And um, sure enough, as soon as it happened, as soon as on, on another chart, we had a little burst through this morning through a value area, previous value area. So uh, really does look interesting at the moment. We're in a mini sort of pullback as we speak. So on the TPO, we've got this value area here, which we started building from last week, Tuesday to Friday. We attempted to break above it, jumped into another value area above us here. If we look left from that zone there back in July. And often when you get into price discovery mode, you ask the question, you know, are you happy to accept prices at higher levels? And either it's yes, and that's where a new value area is formed, or it's a no and price is rejected and it falls back and rotates back to the previous level, which is what happened here. So now we're asking that same question again. So let's watch for a, a move here. Long term, we're bullish. We're looking for longer term targets in the 750 to 800 zone. It's just a case of where to find an entry to get in here. And we're kind of thinking, well, if we had to place our stop somewhere, where could we do that? Um, and it not cost us an absolute fortune. And that line is a potential area that we could, uh, could use for uh, an entry and, um, and a stop. If it gets taken out then so be it <clears throat> we'll try another opportunity from somewhere else okay so on the daily charts uh, we were talking as well in the group about this fork here which i've drawn uh, which catches price quite nicely and i'll just redo that so normally <clears throat> excuse me the andrews pitch fork would be drawn from the ua level here the low to uh, that pivot here to this C point, but I found that it wasn't really catching price at all. Um, so I decided to draw a different one. So I took it from just a retracement tool from the A to the B, but rather than just the 50% line, I'm just going to add in the 25 and 75 lines. Let's try that again. And I just simply changed the A point, first of all, to the 50% line to see whether that captured price, which it didn't. So I moved it to the 50% line, uh, sorry, the 25% line. And that one looked a lot, lot better. So this is gonna be based on my daily chart now. I'll tidy up the points to make sure they meet nicely. But that's, 
capturing price quite nicely and it clearly shows we're in but i mean it doesn't take a genius to say that we're in a bullish trend at the moment child could tell us that we're moving uh, with higher highs but this little area was interesting with these kind of pivots or these um these waves down um you know it's certainly clear now that that is the point where we're turning so that was what i was tidying up on the webinar just to explain my thought process behind that fork as far as uh, looking to get into a trade, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're bullish and we're looking to try and find um, other long positions. The only thing to be aware of is this bearish fork here. We're looking to test that one more time to the upside here. And if that holds, then it might put us a bit of a slow up for a bit of a spanner to the, uh, to the plan. So that's one of the risks to the trade idea. Okay. And this was the chart we were watching, and uh, it's a bit busy at the moment, so I'm just going to tidy up some of these zigzags and other bits. That was just an idea I was working with yesterday, which it seemed to play out quite nicely with this pocket. As price came back into it, it was a nice area to go long from there. I did take that long, but I moved my stop to break even, and it got taken. So out for zero on that one, which is a shame because it's moved quite nicely. One of those things. I think it was a 45 point trade i was looking for somewhere in that region can't remember it was in the channel and then uh, about halfway through that i moved the stock to break even it turned i found this interesting as well drew a little fork here um the abc point and it touched median line nicely there still been reacting in within that uh, level as well had an initial break to the downside but we've taken it out and it was as i was chatting earlier saying we're building up this pressure we've got this kind of horizontal line here of where sellers are sitting and buyers are starting to move goalposts and lift their areas where they're looking to be, to be a buyer and it's pushing into that that resistance and it's creating that pressure we're going to get a pop at some point and sure enough it happened almost exactly as i was talking about it there so i missed that because i was in the webinar and i sort of said okay well you've got two options from here either price is now going to respect the top of this gap because we gapped through it before, we zoomed back through it again here, we respected it since, so it is a clearly defined area. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here, whether or not we respect this level and is that the area to buy, or is it better to wait for a, a, a slightly lower price first? Keep an eye on that. The other idea that we were playing with, which doesn't seem to be working out, is this one here. And I was thinking that maybe we've got an opportunity to buy one of these two kind of levels, just based on the fact that we've got these two dojis here on the 20-minute chart. And wondering or asking the question, would they be potential balance points for a move down? And if that isn't the case, then that's fine. No problem at all. Add strength to the bullish move. And this was the line of buy, uh, where buyers are sitting at the moment. Okay, nice and clear. You can see it easily on your own charts as well. Okay, so really it's just a case of trying to pick your spots now. It's always difficult being a buyer in a market like this when it's just relentless. It's always difficult because you just feel you're buying at the top. So we've had this spike, this is the four hour chart. We've had this spike and now we're in a channel. That's again the buy line here. So you could, one strategy you could do, it's aggressive, is to continually hammer that buy line until it breaks you know it's support until it isn't and as far as targets are concerned i mean again if you're a believer of balance points you could take a uh, an extension should i say a retracement tool from the bottom of this move here put your 50 percent line through this line of dojis that are in here if you'd imagine that that's a um, potential balance point then not every doji is a balance point but It's also part of that gap as well. And again, not every gap's a balance point, but it looks interesting to me. And you'd be looking at target somewhere in that zone there, which is about 640, which also plays in with this level here, which is a potential rejection zone. As price has been rejected from this before, and it was a previous value area. So um, either it settles in there and starts to move sideways in there because it has done before, or it gets rejected like it what it did a few days back. Um, but again, it just is a potential target area. 
So it's a case of where to, to put your trade-ins because if you're going to be going long from current levels and you were going to be putting your stop underneath, you're only getting like 1.6 to 1. It's not good enough for me. Ideally, I'll be looking for 3 to 1 or better. So in order to get that, an entry's got to be nearer to 550 or lower, depending on where your stop goes, of course. All right. So they're just some ideas that we're playing with at the moment. Um, and that's it. So I'm, I'm keen to kind of get the video wrapped up because I want to kind of look into this chart. Um, uh, well, there we go. I've just mentioned about whether price would zoom straight back through that level or whether it would hold it. Well, that's pretty much your answer right there. So now we'll just see whether it settles in this previous zone um, and whether there's an opportunity to buy or whether actually this is a bit more of an aggressive rejection. So we've got to watch this, see what happens. There's no point putting an order in just yet. Let's, uh, let's watch price action, see what happens, see what it tells us. Okay, so that's it for the uh, analysis. Still bullish. Still got the daily targets that we've been talking about over the last few days or a week or so. We've just got to try and find those entries, and there potentially could be one uh, coming up fairly soon. As far as the crypto portfolio goes, um, just a very quick update. 436 is what we're sat on. The story behind this is that it was a uh, an experiment. I put in $125 to see what we could do with trading cryptos intraday. Um, and to be fair, I've just been sitting on the, the current setup as it is for probably two weeks, just been watching it. Um, it's weathered the storm from last week, and uh, we're just going to continue. I did try and buy, personally, more Litecoin at its low at 30-something last week, but Coinbase gave me a bin issue. They said they couldn't process transactions. bit annoying, so I couldn't get in. But I did increase my holding, just not as much as I wanted to. Shame. So still holding uh, recovery right tokens, uh, Ripple and IOTA, currently at 436. And the highs of this account have been as high as 540. So it is still lower than where it was. Better than 125 it started on, but not as high as it has been. Very, very volatile, this market, but I highly recommend studying it. There you have it, guys. So for today, um, let's, let's have a look and see what the market gives us. Um, I think one of my algorithms actually did fade the move uh, at the top while I was doing the webinar. Um, I'm just testing that at the moment. But once it's ready to go out, I will give you more information on it as well. Send us a message on Telegram if you want anything extra. Um, come and join us uh, in the broadcast channel as well. But um, we'll be back again tomorrow with another webinar. So make sure you hang around for that. Take care, guys. Have a good trading day. See you later.